Howdy everyone, Pulcher here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are continuing with challenge number four. We are moving into round three of Greedy Little Pigs of the AI Championships. The scoreboard is on the screen at the moment. The clans are battling it out, choosing the teams they want to fight. And this team that they are fighting is interesting. We have three segments, two impuses. So we have a few clans that opted out. They are scared and some that want to go ahead against this. So let's see how they do. Starting with EOC. Let's see how every... Oh, a bit of freeze there, but we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's have a look how everything goes. There is not a lot of damage on this team, but there is a lot of health reduction. So we'll see if that impacts the fight in any way. The first segment is thrown into his Canopic Jar, but there is still the Impuses left on the field. So Canopic Jars can come back if they manage to kill big, big barriers coming out from the segments on the field. There is another hit there. The Impuses are fairly safe. We can, should we take this up to, yeah, we'll go up to a four times speed. It's going to be a very slow battle otherwise. We'll go, a little bit of health reduction happening. The Impus is very, oh, not Impus, the segment is very close to being put in his Canopic Jar. That's another Canopic Jar. It's not too bad so far. Another Canopic Jar. I think this team is going to be quite safe. Buffs removed by the segment. And the Imp is very close to being, I think the Imp is the only chance, but I think they will be okay. I don't think there's anything this one segment can do i think it will be uh but if the ai keeps going for the canopic jars there we go eoc getting their first win gaining five points moving in with the russians and anyway, we are off the guards versus the guards one team tanky one team built for damage who will win as a jar is already applied to the russians and then the infants lose a lot of hp over half his hp taken away so we'll see what they can do as some shields come out from the enemy segments, giving them almost another bar of HP. Both teams are losing a lot of HP just through the Impus ability that can just degenerate it. Just absolutely take it away as the first character falls from the Russians. They are not looking to be in a good spot as Impus is put into his jar. There's a 50% chance jars can come back to life with a Omphus passive, I believe it is. So we'll see what happens there as a segment is brought back. Everyone, and, and both segments, two segments brought back. Impus lost for Russian. Siri needs to really come through here. But the the Omphus, oh, Omphus, the segments can just take so much damage off these Impuses. And there we go. The Russians losing and losing all their points, dropping to zero. Jumping into battle with Warrior Union. We're just going to go straight four times speed and let's see how it works. Second shield comes out. Second shield comes out. And second shield comes out. Three second shields. One second shield left, I believe. I think it's the middle one. I don't think he put a shield out as we get some damage out on the Impus. The Impus is, are going to be the damage for the AI, but Siri is going to keep whittling down at the AI for Warrior Union. So... It's pretty much whose segments can absorb the most damage. Oh, that's Impus nearly perished there. Very close. He is close to being put in a jar. He is put in a jar. If the AI can, if not the AI, if Warrior Union can get a jar destroyed, that Impus will come back to life due to, oh, no, it is eliminated. The jar is gone for good. So there are two jars on the AI side. There is no Omphus, so those jars are destroyed. They're destroyed for good. Only way to get them back is if the AI kills a character and then Impus will bring the jar back. So Sekman is put into a jar. Is Siri versus Omphus left? It's not looking too good unless um, unless Siri can pull out a miracle here. But Shield comes back out. Siri is put into a jar as well. Only Omphus left. I don't... Oh! Siri comes back. She's put back into a jar. Oh, there was a brief moment, a glimmer of hope there. But unfortunately, no. Warrior Union loses their battle and loses all their points. We'll move on to the final round now. Moving into the final battle for round number three, we have Witchblade, who has a very, very identical team to Warrior Union. The only difference is, is they've bought one Arcane Star for Sekman, where Warrior Union have one Arcane Star on the Omphus. So will it make any difference? They have gear 14 as well. So it should be huge. Big shields on the goose this time. So hopefully they can break through. It just takes one segment to fall. 
as Impus is put into a jar, but should be okay, should be okay. Siri still ripping out a lot of damage. Shekman's still good as well. Some big damage comes out from the Omphus and the Siri. So we should be okay. Impus comes back to life. There is the 50% chance it comes back to life through the Omphus. So like you said, their big shields back up. Massive shields. Impus put back into his jar and Siri very close to perishing as well. As the Impus is actually eliminated this time from Witchblade's team. So we'll see how that impacts anything. If it does, the Siri needs to stay alive. If she can take out this Sekman, it should be a bit of relief as they fall. <coughs> the Omphus left and he falls as well, taking uh, Witchblade's points down to zero. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the third round down. Some clans taking a devastating blow, but it is not over yet. They can still come back. There are many fights to go, so we'll update the scoreboard. It is on the screen for you there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. We're around the world. Until next time, please take care of yourself.